Good morning, folks. This is Zayn Azam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade, and welcome to our daily technical analysis video. In today's analysis, we are going to look at another currency pair, and this time we will focus on the euro dollar. So we'll have a conversation in relation to its support and resistance zone, given the major weakness that we have seen for this currency pair, and the path of least resistance looks really skewed to the downside. It is important for us to have a look at important price levels. So let's have a look at those price levels. But before we do that, as always, it is important for us to go through the slide of the risk warnings and disclaimers. Anything which we'll be discussing in this video cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one, please do consider consulting with your own financial advisors. Now, as always, I'm going to bring out the MT4 platform. This can be downloaded from Evertrade's website. Now, first of all, what we're going to do, whenever you wanted to bring any chart over here, you have instruments on the left-hand side. All what you have to do is click on the instrument and drag it on the chart. By doing that, you have that instrument price chart. Now, as you can see, that the euro dollar price chart is right over here, and the price right for, for the euro dollar is trading at 1.17. <clears throat> now, some important things, sorry, excuse me, I think I'm coming down with <clears throat> another uh, bad sore throat or something. Uh, what we see from the price action is that the price is trading below its 50-day moving average. Now, where is your 50-day moving average? The one in pink right over here. This is your 50-day simple moving average. Followed by that is your 100-day simple moving average. And finally, you have your 200-day simple moving average. Now, given the fact that the price has broken below its 50-day moving average, this indicates that this price action is very much likely to continue its journey to the downside. Now, some important price levels and the price, uh, we will define them. But first of all, what we have to do is we have to look at the, this trend line, this downward trend line. In order to draw this trend line, we'll ignore this week, but we will join all the lower lows. By doing this, what we do is what, what we, we have defined this downward trend for this particular asset, and that asset is your euro dollar. Now, in order for the price to change its trend, the first sort of indication that we will see, or let's just say the two indications that we're going to see is for the price breaking above the 50-day simple moving average, and also the price breaking above its downward trend line. These two will give us a very clear indication that yes, this downward trend is no longer in play and the prices can are really can move prices can move higher from there now in terms of support zone it is this particular area that i'm really looking at because it is this area that i expect the price to move higher one, if the price continues its journey to the downside. Now, of course, the price can very much come towards its 200-day moving average or stay above the 200-day moving average, and it continues its journey to the upside. Because right over here, we will be talking about the price you know, just falling into this area. So where is that area? In terms of that, what we gotta look at is, okay, so if we draw, of the exact price lines, the exact uh, support zones, then those support zones are going to be at 1.160 to all the way to right over here to 1.1652. So extensively, the support zone is quite big, quite large. But so that means that you'll have to reduce your position you have to downsize your position but if you are comfortable with taking this sort of a stop loss if you because obviously when you are when the price starts to drop below that you know you wanted to take your position anywhere in between that but the most important thing will be if the price stays above 
this support zone because if the price stays above this support zone that will be quite an important one that will, will signify uh, the, the significance of that the significance of that will be that the price has stayed above its 200 100 day moving average that it would be very much likely for the price to continue its journey to the upside now similarly what we also want to see is the the rsi not to break below this upward trend line if the price breaks above this trend line and for you know breaks below this upward trend line that will further signal more weakness for this price action now, in terms of our resistance zone the area where the price is likely to fall or where you may want to take some sort of a profit i still believe that area is going to be between 1.1844 to all the way to <clears throat> 1.1879 so these are the areas that we are kind of really focused on with respect to the euro dollar all right folks that's all for today happy trading and i'll see you guys next time